Good morning. Today's lesson is 3.5. Today we're going to multiply with regrouping. Our essential question, how can you use regrouping to multiply two-digit numbers? So let's unlock the problem. By 1914, Henry Ford had streamlined his assembly line to make a Model T Ford car in 93 minutes. How many minutes did it take to make the 25 Model Ts? So this right here is a Model T, and this was the first production of a Model T Ford, and it was assembled on October 1st, 1908. Almost 19 years. Oh, just a little over 19 years. Oh, 111 years ago. That's crazy. Kind of cool. All right. So we are going to use place value and regrouping to help solve this time instead of the area model. So if you think 93 times 25, and we're estimating, well, 93 is close to 90, and 25 is close to 30. We know that 9 times 3 is 18. And I've made two zeros, so it's going to be 1,800. So my answer should be close to this answer. So before I go over the steps, I just kind of want to show you what we're doing because I think it's easier to see on the side. So we're doing it differently. We're basically going to take this 25 and we're going to multiply it times the three ones. Okay? And then we're going to take the 9 or 90 and we're going to multiply it times the 25. Right? So we're taking this 25, multiplying it times the three ones, and the 25, and we're multiplying it times the 90, all right? And then we're gonna add those partial products together. So let's do it. So if I think of the 93 as nine tens and three ones, it's gonna be easier. So I've got 25 by the three ones. So three times the 25. So three times the five is 15. So I put my one here, my five here. Now I have three times the two, which is six, plus my one is seven. So I should get 75. So 25 times three ones is 75. Step two, now I'm gonna multiply the 25 times the nine tens, right? Which is 90. So essentially I'm doing this problem, 90 times 25. So I put it over here, this was 75. So nine times 25, so we're going to do 9 times the 5, so 9 times the 5, which is 45. So I'm going to regroup 45, and then, oh, I forgot to put my 0 there. Um, and then we've got 9 times the 2, which is 18, plus the 4, 19, 20, 21, 22. And the reason I put my 0 there is because, remember, I'm doing it times 90, not times 9. So I'm going to have that 1, 0, right? All right, now I'm going to add them. So 5 times 0 is 5. I mean 5 plus 0. This is adding because I'm adding my partial products. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Regroup my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then 2 plus um, nothing is 2. So the answer is going to be 2,325. And that's close to our estimate that we had, which was 2,700. So we know the answer is reasonable. So there's different ways to multiply. And you can use different ways to multiply and still get the same correct answer. So Sean and Patty both solved the problem 67 times 40. They did it correctly, but they used different ways. So look at Sean's paper and see how he did it. So he did 60 times 40 and then 7 times 40. So kind of like when we broke our things apart, he took the 67 and he did 60 and 7. And then he did them individually by 40. So then he would get his partial products and add those together, right? So 60 times 40 was 2,400. 7 times 40 was 280. And then he added those two numbers up. 2,400 plus 280, and he got 2,680. So he used partial products by breaking up this number, right? So Patty, on her paper, she um, did it by place value. So she first, she multiplied the zero. Well, zero times seven and zero times six is zero, right? And then um, she put the space saver because this is really times 40, right? So I'm going to put my zero there because I know I'm going to have one zero on the problem. It's not times four, it's times 40. So then she did four times seven, which is 28. She regrouped four times six, um, which is 24 plus the two is six. So I get 26. And so again, her answer, and since it's, you know, zeros up there, 2,680. 
So she also found the same problem. Now, what method did Sean use to solve the problem? He used the place value in the mental math by breaking apart the 60 and the 7, so that way he could do it more in his head. What method did Patty use to solve the problem? Patty used place value and regrouping. So let's do the share and sew. Look at the problems and complete the sentence. So we're looking over here. So they want us to know what to do first. So remember, I'm going to look at my ones place. So that's a zero. So I'm going to multiply the zero and the 27. And I'm going to get zero, right? Because anything times zero is zero. Next step. Whoops. Next step. I'm going to erase, sorry. Next up, now I'm looking at this tens place. So now I'm going to multiply 60 times the 27. So 60 times the 27, and I'm going to get 1,620. Then I'm going to add those two up, those two partial products up, and I'm going to get 1,620. So again, I just want to kind of do it like this. So first, you multiply your ones by the big number, then you multiply your tens by the big number, okay? All right, let's do a few samples together. I'm not gonna do the estimating part, I just wanna do the solving part so we can get used to it, because it's a little different than we've done before. So first, I'm going to multiply my ones position. So that means I'm gonna be multiplying three times the 68. So three times seven is 24. I'm gonna regroup my two, so it's 24. And now I'm going to do 3 times 6, and 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 2 that I regrouped makes 19, 20. So I'm going to put my 20 down here. Next, I'm going to, so now I'm going to erase that, or maybe I'll leave that. So you'll see. So now I'm going to, I'm going to do a different color so we can kind of see it better. Now I'm going to do my 5, but it's not really a 5, it's 50, right? 50 times 68. Well, whenever I've got the zero, remember I'm going to always have a zero at the end of my problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Some teachers will call it a, a space saver. But it's it, the reason that's there is because I'm not multiplying by 5. I'm actually multiplying by 50, which means there's going to be one zero in my answer, just like we did before. So I'm going to put it right there. So now I'm going to do 5 or 50 times the 8 ones. And 5 times 8 is 40. So I'm going to regroup, put my 4 up here my zero here, and now I've got five times six, which is 30, plus the four that I regrouped, so it's 34. Looks like Christmas colors. So now I've got, now I'm going to add these together. Okay, I'm gonna add these together because these are partial products, right? So four plus zero is four, zero plus zero is zero, four plus two is six, and I've got three. So my answer is 3,604. Let's do another one. I'm going to keep with the same colors. For my ones place, I'm going to do the red. So first, I'm going to multiply my ones place, which is 4. I'm going to multiply 4 times 1, and then 4 times the 60. So 4 times 1 is 4, and then 4 times 6 is 24. I'm going to change to green. So now I'm multiplying the 50, right? So since this is 50, I'm multiplying, or 5 tens, put my zero there because there's going to be the zero on the answer. And now I'm going to do 5, 5 times 1, which is 5. Make sure you line up everything. And then 5 times 6, which is 30. And now I'm going to add them together. So I have 4 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then I have my 3. So my answer is right there. All right, let's do another one together. Again, I'm gonna kind of keep things color coordinated. So first I'm gonna multiply my ones. So I'm gonna do seven times zero is zero. And then I'm gonna do seven times nine is 63. All right, now I'm gonna change to green because now I'm gonna multiply my tens place. So I'm gonna multiply by 20. Since I've got one zero in the answer, I'm going to have to put it here, right? So now I'm doing two times zero, which is zero. And then I have two times nine, which is 18. Make sure you line everything up in your place values. And now I'm going to add my two partial products together. So I've got zero plus zero is zero. Three plus zero is three. 
Uh, 6 plus 8 is 14. Regroup my 1, and then I have two ones there. So my answer should be 2,430. So today I'm actually going to have you just do these three in the book, and then I'm going to have you do um, some of the problems in the homework book, which I will post on Google Classroom. Okay, and if you need me, I will be on the carpet. Good luck.